who does Caramel Moat and Fight Like? I was able to watch Caramel's. Huh, excuse me. I was able to watch Caramel's first three fights. Um, his third fight was with uh, the Cuba guy. And then the third fight, it was an eight rounder, which is very unusual for a fighter to, in his third fight, fight an eight rounder. So Floyd and them, they're pushing this man through the paces. They're trying to get him into championship contention as fast as possible. But what I want to ask y'all today is, who does Kermit Moten fight like? Who does he resemble when you watch him fight? Kendall Ray Rizzle, thanks for liking the live as soon as y'all got up in here. What's good, Scooby? To me, Kermit Moten fights like Meldrick Taylor. I hear comparisons to Floyd Mayweather. I disagree with him. He doesn't really fight like Floyd to me. Um, I hear comparisons to Tank Davis. I disagree with those. He throws way more punches than both Floyd and Tank Davis. Kermit Moten in his third fight has already eclipsed Floyd Mayweather's highest output round, highest punching output round. When Floyd fought Emmanuel Augustus, Floyd threw 74 punches in one round because Emmanuel Augustus made him push the pace that much. Kermit Moten has already thrown 82 punches in his last fight. So he throws more punches than Floyd. Not only that, he had two additional rounds that were higher than Floyd's second highest punch output in a round for his entire career. So this is a guy that's going to throw a bunch of combinations, a bunch of punches. This is an offensive fighter. This is Meldrick Taylor, but it's Meldrick Taylor 2.0 because Floyd has ingrained a lot of defense inside of Carmel. Carmel knows how to roll under shots. He knows how to fight with his head up, knows how to do the poor counters, knows how to use footwork. So this is a guy with great offense and very, very good defense. I believe he'll develop great defense with time. Stay solid. Thanks for the gifts. If y'all got gifts, send them. Somebody said his defense was unique and different. Well, I mean, there's only a couple ways to do defense, but he did have very good defense. Fymar, what's up, man? DJ, my guy. I got, you know, I got to talk to you about that Saturday night, man. Me and you was Saturday night. Me and you was right about FanDuel. I remember we both said he was going to win. He was right. Yeah, about I was right about everything, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, look, I'm cracking up. Listen, listen, KJ. I'm so pissed up in the crib. Like, yo, KJ, right, man. I what up, my KJ? Man, my man really got stopped. I thought really he was going to win. I was, I was wrong. I was wrong, KJ. I thought really. It's was all right, win. man. It's all right. I mean, I'm wrong sometimes in my predictions, but this one I just saw it coming. Rick React says, "What do you think of his punching power? Kermit Moore has good punching power, but he's not going to be a power puncher like." Like Floyd Mayweather at his lightest weight class was a harder puncher than Kermit Moten. We all know Tank Davis is in a whole other level. So Kermit Moten, he punches hard, but he's not a, a knockout artist. He will not be a knockout artist. He's going to be a guy like Sugar Ray Leonard or like Meldrick Taylor, wear you down through combination punching. Or like or like a Gary Russell Jr. Uh, yes, but I think that he has more defense than Gary Russell or Meldrick or even Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, hey, I like him. He's, he's still 17. Everybody keeps saying, well, he's just 17. That's not how power works. If he gains power, it'll be because he gets more accurate. Hey, Wiki, mute your mic. Oh, shit. My background. But it'll be because he get, he's more accurate. It'll be because he his timing is better. So if he starts knocking people out later in his career, it's not going to be going to be because he gained power, per se. Like, power is just natural. You don't you don't go up in weight class and then your power is, is increased like Manny Pacquiao. That's a that's an indicator that you you are enhanced. That's that you're using something. Wait, KJ, were you live earlier? Yeah, I was live earlier, but I was marketing the um marketing the TikTok music boxing machine. So I wasn't talking about boxing. I was marketing a a, a little trinket. Oh, okay. Yeah, to the best of my ability. <laughs> Wait, KJ, one, one, one more, one more uh, topic on a Saturday night. I think really had hard, but what you think really did wrong? I think he was fighting good well, in and out. Didn't do anything necessarily wrong. Look, and this reminds me because I got to do that video. Um, yeah, that, Rolly Romero, before he fought Tank Davis, he had 14 fights. Rolly started boxing at like 
18 or 17. Roly is not a naturally coordinated athlete. He's a brawler. So Pitbull Cruz, he had a much longer boxing career than Roly. Started boxing at like six or seven. Amateur career, pretty, pretty decent. Pro experience, way more than Roly Romero. And then his fundamentals. So when you just match them up like that and you're being realistic, if y'all in here, say we got a couple people watching, make sure y'all tap in the screen, get these likes up, push the chat. Thank y'all. But if you just being real realistic, when you look at the, the X's and O's, when you look at the fact that the experience edge is all the way favoring Pitbull, the fundamentals of the game, keeping your hands up, favoring Pitbull, structure, stamina, everything favoring Pitbull. And the fact that Pitbull has never been knocked down, never been knocked out, never been stopped. Roly has already been knocked down multiple times. Like, Roly was going to have to pull a rabbit out of his ass. You know what I mean? But tricks are for kids. But that's the only way that he was going to be able to beat Pitbull Cruz. You have to be lucky. If you watch the fight, though, I like the Roly hit it. Pitbull, Pitbull Cruz with a lot of shots from the temple. I feel like Cruz just ate him. I think Roly could have, if he had a power, I think he'd have put him down. I'm more. What did I tell you before the fight? I said, <laughs> if Tank Davis couldn't knock Cruz out, who yeah. the going to knock Cruz out? Pitbull yeah, Cruz yeah. took flush shots <laughs> from Tank Davis. That should have let y'all know something. But y'all play, y'all like to play these games. Like, people act like Pitbull isn't one of them ones because he has a basic game plan. Just like Errol Spence had a basic game plan, but he gained three world titles. I ain't know Rolly's gonna get stopped because Rolly got stopped by Tank by like a one shot punch. I ain't know he's gonna get stopped Rolly by like got a... stopped against Barroso. Rolly was supposed yeah. to get stopped against Barroso. I ain't know he's gonna get guy. stopped like that. Like Pitbull just all these punches at him. I ain't know you're not like that. Not like that. That's crazy. Hey, hey stay solid. Thanks for liking a lot. Everybody in here, uh, in the chat, we got some viewers. Make sure y'all tap in the screen, liking a lot. Thank you. Somebody said also should have won that fight. Cruz don't need footwork for what he does. Cruz comes in, listen. Damn. Obviously, y'all probably don't box. I box, I'm gonna tell you straight up. If you're throwing power punches back to back to back. Most fighters get tired. Most fighters can't hold their hands up for 12 rounds. Pitbull Cruz could do both. He could hold his hands up for 12 rounds, and he could throw power shots for 12 rounds. So It really is insane that he can hold his, his guard up, that high guard up for a full 12 rounds. It's really insane. I mean, that's not the insane thing. It's, it's a couple fighters that could do that. Tank could do that if he wanted to. Yeah, Eric could do he that. He could do that while throwing power punches for 12 rounds. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for this sure. motherfucker... His, Yo, hey. his cardio, his stamina is off the charts. And that's why he's going to give anybody trouble. Even if you beat him, you're going to be like, damn, I won the fight, but my ribs hurting, pissing blood. That's why Tank said, no, I don't want to ever fight this man again. <laughs> Y'all want a lot to see Roly fight Cruz again? I think Roly could do it again. Man, no, get his ass knocked out again. I'd Roly like to see that. Too dumb. No, oh, man. Roly, Listen, Roly. Roly, to be honest with you, Roly did end up in bed. That fight, he just got court, man. I'm telling you. No, bro, 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 listen. If Roly got in there with Barroso, no, then Barroso would have fucking handled him bro, bro. in a few rounds. Look, if Roly's serious about being a top guy, bro, yeah. what he has to do is start fighting them bums, work on skill. <laughs> no, serious. Start fighting like lower tier guys, dudes with losing records. Rebuild yourself from the ground up. Rebuild yourself on the ground up. Whatever new coach you got, y'all need to work on fundamentals. Roly got to learn how to actually put his hands in front of his face, in front of his chin, and block a punch. He can't be trying to act like he's going to do the shoulder roll. It's not for him. That's so, what I'm for. serious about being a champion. He's got to, you know, work on defense. His offense was looking good. That's what I'm saying. Horrible. That's what I'm he saying. He work on that neck and his lower body so he could take a punch. Because he actually looked well, look better on offense. His fighters who don't do neck training, they could take a punch. If you can take a punch, it's God given. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, for sure. Neck training enhances it. So if you could take a punch real good and you train your neck, now you could take any punch. You know yeah, what I mean? Someone in the comments just yeah, said it's gonna help. And, and, and like, he need to like, start yeah. squatting. It's not going one vandal. That motherfucker, um, what's his name? Everybody know he he chinny. He fought Canelo. Triple J. Amir Khan. Amir uh, Khan does America. neck training, bro. He gets his ass knocked out all, all the time because he doesn't have a good chin. There's nothing that you could do for your chin. You cannot gain oh, punch no. resistance. In fact, punch resistance goes away with age and, and wear and tear. So 
fighters who look indestructible in their 20s and their 30s, they start getting rocked a little bit. In their 40s, they start getting knocked out if they stick around that long. Punch resistance goes away, but it's a gift. Yeah, Khan, Khan, his, I think his chin was just broke, man. Uh, yeah, Khan was a great boxer. He just got no chin. Yeah, no, if you go crap. back to whoever well, Dr. Mal first, ruined him for life. Somebody said Roly need to do stand up comedy. Roly actually isn't a bad boxer. He's just not top tier. People, That's what I'm saying. He understand ain't... something. Let's say that it's a thousand people in their weight class at 140. Roly is like top 50 in the world. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's really good. You know I mean, it like, is good. your ass, whoever said he need to do stand up comedy, <laughs> El Capitano, <laughs> your ass. For you know, real, like, Roley, it, just, it just is what it is. His ability to market a fight put him in a position that he probably was never going to be ready for. Um, and it is what it is. At least he got to make some money. KJ, question Who you got winning, Mungia or Canelo? Canelo. Canelo, for sure. When I say Roley is top 50, I mean Roley is probably top 50 in the 140 pound division. I don't think that I think Roley would beat a lot of guys because when you watch him when he was building up his career, the people that they were matching him with, he was steamrolling them because of his aggression, his size. Oh, yeah, I see it. Huh? Mm -hmm. So Roley would beat a lot of dudes. He's just not top tier. He's not one of the top boxers in the world in his weight class. But would Roley Roley beat had Ryan dude, Tom though? Like that's the thing. Like after he got rocked in the first round, after that he had uh Cruz Tom. But he didn't stick to his game plan. That's what I'm saying. He, he, he no, looked no good, though. Plan, Juan no game plan. No game Roley plan. He good, beat that man. Roley, look, Shakur Stevenson said it after the fight. I said it before the fight. You have to have a certain amount of boxing skill, boxing pedigree to deal with that style. Relentless yeah. pressure. Have yeah. you ever been in the ring with a motherfucker that's throwing relentless pressure? You know how yeah. it He's coming out of style. <laughs> like, you yeah. know how much movement you have to do? I, yeah. I, I, fought, I was in Philly. I fought a motherfucker who was knocking dudes out. I'm talking about with headgear. He was knocking people out. Um, and the first two wait, rounds, wait, 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 bro, wait, wait, all I that. did was move side to side. This motherfucker was fast as hell. He threw punches hard as hell. All I did was move, jab, jab, move, jab, jab, move. If I tried to go out there and make a firefight, um, who knows what would have happened? Somebody said, then he knocked you out. No, your name is Big Zesty, bro. You about to get blocked just because of the <laughs> Big, uh, I can't call you that. Uh, no diddy. Listen, listen, commenter. Uh, <laughs> that fight is on, no diddy. on KJI TV in action. I outbox the hell out of that boy. You understand what I'm saying? I outbox the hell out of him. But when you're dealing with people who just throwing power shots and they're fast and they they, they got the power and they relentless, you got to be on your P's and Q's. Roley didn't have the boxing ability. You got to be super focused. Crew, bro. But he did though, because he oh. figured out what Cruz was doing. No, with no, that no. Overhead, listen, that's listen. all Cruz really had, dude. I, boxing I feel skills what you really what you think you saying, but it's easy to hit Pitbull. Roley already said Pitbull is there to be hit all night. But what does it matter when the man isn't going down? This man went toe to toe with Tank Davis, so he, Roley didn't figure out shit. You could go in the ring and land a punch on Pitbull. He was walking in a straight line with his hand. <laughs> no, for I, real. Like y'all, it, it, there's yeah. not no puzzle. It just. You break can you deal with the pressure? That's that what really doing? said. He right yes in front no. of you. <laughs> if you can't deal with that pressure, your ass gonna get cooked. Yeah, and and made, made it worse. KJ, he didn't have his hands up. So the yeah, only that's person that's, that's another, another thing, right? right? Like get on the phone, dude. What are you doing? They ain't have his hands up, so he got cooked easy. I mean, Roly tried to do the, that little shoulder roll, but that's not that's not him. That's not him. especially somebody that's throwing consistent overhand overhand rights. That you know what I'm saying. That you didn't see at first. Then he then he knew what he was doing. And then he started avoiding it and then countering it. But then he got off of that and then just started doing something else. Then he started bro up. then he started bro then then, the fight uh, toe to toe after he's hurt. Dude, yeah, he got toe to toe. You got caught with a hook. Toe to toe. I see. Hey, that. um B Z. I'm gonna call you B Z. I, I just blocked your ass. So sign <laughs> <laughs> He tried to stand toe to toe while he was hurt. Yeah, man. I ain't like right. that. KJ. Listen, y'all think toe -toe? you know why he had to stand toe to toe while I he like was hurt? That. You know why? why Pitbull that? Cruz was hitting his body from round one. When you taking them hard body shots, it weakens your legs. So it's not that he wanted to stand toe to toe. He couldn't move like that no more. Yeah, that's, that's, true. that's so a good point. Like that. that. What Tank did when Tank beat Cruz was a great performance. Nobody knew that Cruz was that type of a pressure fi fighter. And Tank showed y'all, look, I could bang, but I could box. Hey, Benzy, thanks for I the I definitely gift, respect man. that win way more. Fuck I've been the fight all week. Oh, what's good? What's good, NBA? If y'all got gifts, send them, man. Run it up.
Had a little birthday dinner. That's it. Oh, you can see how Cruz was birthday, a lot of plus shots. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Uh, he was eating them joints. Hey, look, what do y'all think Kermo fight like? I think Kermo fight like right now. I'm going to give him. He kind of remind me of Magic Taylor, though. That's uh, exactly what I said, bro. Hold up. Uh, hold up. Somebody said, KJ, do you think you could win a world title, maybe IBF or something? Right now, boxing not about winning world titles. It's about having connections and getting put in position. Yeah. Roly was, a, Roly was a world champion. You know what I mean? So don't forget that, y'all. Huh? Well, wait I said right? don't forget that, y'all. He was a world champion. Yeah, really. That's what I'm saying. Roly was a world champion. Like it's not the, the game is different right now. I'm not even thinking like, oh, let me try to become a champ. I'm just thinking when I go pro, hopefully I'm not getting fucking robbed. So I'm I'm going into every fight, you know, kill or be killed, trying to get a stoppage. I, I learned from wait a minute, KJ. They what not you... they don't give a fuck if you don't got no connection, they not fucking with you. Okay. What KJ, would you compare your fight game to? Wait, wait, like wait, wait. You would KJ, your style to? what's good? Are you trying to pull a Regan Dogs? Pull a Regan Dog? Like turn pro at 30? No, nah, I'm, I'm turning pro next year if my money right. I was, I would have already been pro. I got injured the last year when I wanted to do the, uh, the Golden Glove. So I stuck around for the last Golden Glove, but I would have still been pro if, if, I, um, if my money was right. I got a plan, but you have to have money to be uh, a good pro box. Either that, or you got you got to have sponsorship. Mm. Mm. Like it ain't. Who it's not what people think. It. People think it's like, um, you know, you train, you get good. Like most of these guys, when you see them in the beginning of their career, they're fighting people that work two jobs and shit. Like they fucking those people up. You can't beat a man who's training every day, year round, um, full time, and you're a part time boxer. That's dumb. Yes, yeah, for real. <laughs> a man boxer, he definitely, yeah, he definitely smart. I mean, he for somebody to work like a construction job. I'm like what? That's what I'm saying. That's how they try to set you up and shit. Or like, if you don't got connect, say you not signed, you will go out here and beat one of these motherfuckers with a big name, but they are gonna try to rob you. So, me, I already know what I'm working on right now. It just I gotta get all stoppages first, like ten or fifteen fights. If I don't do that, then I'm gonna probably just go ahead and call it a career. Cause they you you can start out zero and three, and you whoop whooping ass, but it's just yeah. Damn, is that political? Damn. It's not that's political. It's that's business. It's business. That's it. That's it. Worse than basketball, KJ. Your <laughs> first professional fight. Don't they give you like trash fighters or, or something that's like if that? You sign. I don't even want no trash fighters for my first fight. But yeah. that's if you sign. If you sign to somebody, they give you, you know, a couple of bums and shit to get you started. But that's not really good for the fighter development. What weight class though, KJ? Oh, 154. That's a good job. That's a good job. You, you, don't, you can't get you like down 60? to 147? No, I'm not trying to do, I'm from 5'10", but I'm, I don't want to fight at 147. Like, I got too much muscle. Like, I'm not killing my body. 154 is fine, and I'll probably go up to 160. Okay, that's a, that's a good weight class right there, too. That's a good yeah. weight class. Tang is not going to fight Cruz. He already hurt his hand on Cruz's head. He don't have a choice. Cruz is the smallest champion at 140. That's why I think was rooting for Rolly Romero. His tweet, he said, um, you know, uh, Cruz feel that shit because he wanted he wanted Cruz to lose because he know he gonna have to fight the winner of that fight. Tank already knew that. So would you rather I love to see, fight Roly or fight Pitbull? I love to see Tank versus Roly again, though. <laughs> That's yeah, no, not with him. Not with him. <laughs> it was too bad. It was a bit funny, KJ. I don't need to watch Tank knock out Roly again. It was yeah, just funny though. You know, yeah, Roly gonna talk about that smack to him. <laughs> Somebody says Kermo reminds me of like cha cha slide. Kermo doesn't like, remind me of Tank at all outside of being yeah. light skinned. Like they don't fight the same at all. Like yeah, you talking Kermo. about Kermo Moten that's throwing 80 punches in a round. <laughs> Tank, when have, you, when have you seen Tank throw 50 punches in a round? Yeah, for real. I mean, it's like Shane with better <laughs> technique. Somebody I mean, this, said, what you going to crumble down for? Damn, that's fucked up. Well, kid is no, the only time I ever seen Tank throw a lot of punches was, remember, right before he knocked out Santa Cruz? Like, he was going ape shit on him. You got blocked block that. And he just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen Tank throw 50 punches in the round. Bro. I could be wrong. Yeah. Well, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll give the kid. High, I'll give high, the kid this. He is very good. Don Judy. Don Judy was good. What's up, y'all? He fights like Tank. He comes out of Tank camp. Tank knew him since he was a baby. He fights nah, like that. Nah, he don't fight like no damn. Still, Kermit Morton is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you a Medjit Taylor Don. 
Huh? He probably, he probably like Meldrick, man. No, I don't remember Meldrick Taylor. Who don't remember yeah. Meldrick Taylor? You got to be 20 oh. years old. Remember well, hopefully he has a little more discipline than Meldrick Taylor because Meldrick Taylor, or I mean discipline in his game plan because there were times Meldrick Taylor would just get so excited he would start brawling. Man, Don yeah. Judah explained yeah. what happened yeah. to Meldrick. Don Judah said Meldrick Taylor didn't really have a long amateur career. Um, yeah. So it's certain stuff that he's supposed to have learned that he didn't learn. That's why yeah. certain things panned out the way they panned out. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, he was so good naturally as a fighter and his speed. Mm -hmm. I think he won the national and then he, he won the Olympic trials and went straight to the Olympics within two years. Yeah, I, I remember I watched this HBO documentary about his fight with Chavez and they talked about him being a Philadelphia fighter and about him wanting to fight like one. So that's why he would sometimes abandon his boxing style and start to brawl. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he dominated Chavez at the end of the day. If you're tired in the 12th round and you won the first 11 rounds, get on your bike, run. You know what I mean? But it is history is history. My thing that I want to focus on is no. I don't think that Carmel fight like Tank or Floyd. To me, he fights like Meldrick Taylor, but he's Meldrick Taylor 2.0 because the defense that he displays, and that's what he really took from growing up around Floyd and Tank. And all, the defense that he has is on a whole other level than, yeah. than a Meldrick Taylor. I think like what he his like skill him. that's what it is he has a body level is impressive look. especially considering he is still a boy he's still 17. i don't know i, I ain't gonna it even will say toughen that. this fool though it will toughen him for the future but one trust. thing i do hope i hope they don't pull a leon spinks with this kid and push him into the deep end before he's ready and, and mind you y'all they pay um camaro camaro come on my fault against top competitors no, I don't know about top competitors. Motherfucker been undefeated on me and shit. I don't know. True, who that's true. Is. That's true. I don't know who the last people so is. Wait till he get ten and oh to fight competition. I believe. Yeah, we but he fight people with, with, with zeros though. Huh? He fight people with zeros. So. Exactly, but boxing is political. Like these mm -hmm. motherfuckers be losing. I get Hami Mungia. Hami Mungia got forty uh, fights. I watched Hami Mungia lose to Hogan. I watched <laughs> in Mexico. They robbed the hell out of that white boy. You know, or that Irish, whatever, but they robbed them. So a lot of these dudes, they got these zeros is because they got the connection. They got the people behind them. Yeah, you know, I've heard a lot of people saying that Mungia should have lost to Rosado too. You don't have any losses before you, before you make the money because of the way that it, the way that it looks yeah. for whatever reason. And yeah, Cuba was good. I'm just saying that I'm not going to say Carmel fighting these top dudes or what is it? What is it to be a top dude and, yeah. and you got seven fights? Like nobody knows yeah. what you are. That's true. Yeah, but dude, like, wait a minute. Before this kid had his first fight, didn't Floyd try to offer to have him fight Lee Wood? Yeah, but Lee Wood turned him down, so that that lets you know that Lee knows what Carmel is. Carmel really, really might be one of those guys because why the hell would you have all of that professional experience? You a champion or a former champion, and you ducking a motherfucker that didn't even have a fight. My problem is why did they let that kid wait for the Olympics? Uh, oh yeah. Carmel? Yeah, I was just thinking, did this kid did this kid ever go to any of the Olympics? I don't think Carmel you said why didn't they let him wait for the Olympics? Yeah. Money, 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 money. Yeah, but he's still gonna make money, money. if you win the Olympics, you win that gold. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, money, 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 money or the Floyd Floyd well, runs his own. Hmm. This is different, Don. You talking about you when Simba, you sign with PBC? Come on, man. Yeah, but he has, Tank Davis but he never sniffed Mayweather. the Olympics, right? Tank yeah, Davis never sniffed the Olympics. Backing. That's Shakur just Stevenson got a silver medal in the Olympics. Tank Davis has made way more money than yeah. Shakur Stevenson because not, this is the pro boxing and Floyd, Floyd and Al Heyman are the main promoters. So one thing, it's just about getting on the right team. One thing I learned about boxing is better to, to not even fight in the Olympics to, opposed to winning a, because uh, you can't win a silver. I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Being awarded a silver. It's Fact. actually better not to have a uh, fought in the Olympics. It's all about the gold. Yep, that's that. That's a, um, it. People look at it like you lost. Mm -hmm. yep, that's yeah, you, did. <laughs> you, you did. Yeah, you did lose. But I'm saying like a silver, silver medal Olympics. That's a great feat. That's a great like most boxers are never going to get a silver or bronze medal. So right. it's like, yeah, you didn't get the gold, but you could take that places like that's going to be memorabilia. But it's just the way that people look at it. Like the gold is those are guys like the Sugar Ray Leonard. He won the gold. Pernell, he won the gold. And they, they get pushed to a championship contention super fast. But the yeah. fact that Carmel is signed with Floyd, that now we're talking about somebody that 
Floyd and Al Heyman, they are, they are making money for the business of boxing. So Kermo is going to be getting championship contention, whether he had a gold, silver, bronze, or whether he never competed, because he's linked in like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, he's going he gonna to get that. He yeah, gonna he get get it. It. It's oh. going to be just like he got the damn, you know, the goal. And, and look at the fact that this is his third fight. He did an eight-rounder. So they're not yeah. they're not trying to waste no time with this kid. They think yeah. that he's going to fast track him. They go ahead with the Lomachenko treatment. And I hope that he's yeah. ready, though. But I, I don't know if Floyd's going to do that because I don't think – Floyd said before he doesn't like how Lomachenko was able to fight for a title in just two or three fights. So they're probably going to wait till he gets past 10 fights. Yeah, oh. right, 10, it'd be better. It'd be better. But I yeah. don't know, man. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd literally, literally said that he was going to have him fight that um that Liam dude. I don't know if he was a champion at the time. Um, yeah, yeah, Floyd picture in that fire. <laughs> yeah, like, like Floyd yeah, said that. But, but Floyd said that when he was talking about a fighter that wasn't signed to him. So he said, well, Loma shouldn't have got a, a championship deal in three That's fights. That's true. Next thing you know, Kremel getting one in five fights because man, it, the man won two gold medals. What did he talk shit? I, I ain't challenged that. The brother won two gold medals, man. Oh. Right. And he was older. He had the experience. He was an yeah. older gentleman. He had the experience in the amateurs way more than the average person. Yep. The average person don't have the experience Lobachenko had. That's one of the lifetime. Many logs. Uh huh. Second. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That was a weird fight, the Salido fight. But even yeah, if, you put, if you put them together in a rematch, Loma, Loma would have tore his ass up. Yeah, Loma would have destroyed him. Yeah. Not because Loma would have been pissed. <laughs> and then he got, yeah, yeah he would have tore him up. But yeah, he, he would have gotten, he probably would have gotten Salido out of there before he could try more Loma. Somebody says, can Loma beat Pernell? I don't think so. No, he Pernell cannot. Is no. Okay, no. Yeah. Oh, Pernell Whitaker is a yeah. beast. You would not. All Pernell would have had to do was go on the inside. Lomachenko, yeah. all of his greatness, he's a mid-range outside outboxer. Pernell was good at all levels. So all Pernell would have had to do was go on the inside game over. Pernell. Pernell said he never lost a fight until he fought his last fight against, what was his name? Uh, Felix. Felix, yeah. And he didn't lose that fight in my eyes. You know why? He didn't lose that fight with uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Felix was a cheater, so he didn't lose that fight in my eyes. Nah, he beat Oscar. It's just that he played the little. Pernell team. Whitaker beat Oscar. Yeah, he beat. Yeah, he did. Beat. He Bruh, I went and beat. watched that fight. Kind of he even hit him with no punches. Go ahead, finish your statement, Don, because you were saying something. Yeah, I said. I'm basically saying he beat Oscar. Uh, he, he 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 lost, but he won. That's basically what yeah, it was. That and was he little around a little too much, you know. But when he was playing around, Delahoy didn't land a punch every but time. What the thing, announcers? They were saying shit like, whoa, did you see that? That was enough for Oscar to win that round. And I go and watch the replay, and De La Hoya isn't landing anything. So how, how is you punching the air? You got beef with um, oxygen, but <laughs> somehow you fucking, you went around punching the air. It makes no sense. So that's when you know that it's the powers that be. It's the uh, political sphere of boxing coming and saying, this is the new guy. This is the golden boy. And this is who we're going to be pushing the sport through. For the next 10 years so yeah mm -hmm. pernell they was done with pernell and pernell was done with himself because pernell he was miss he was abusing his body he was using different no, substances yeah so, sorry about that let me say that word well we got to type in for saying that d word oh <laughs> i said it by mistake yeah he was on that d stuff man yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad, man he was he, he fought phillips trinidad <laughs> what, two days out of the out of the re yeah. two days out of the re bro Two days, like no, I'm sorry about two weeks out but of the ring. That's because he was a natural fighter, though. Like mm -hmm. Pernell, the fact that he was such a small, he wasn't a large man, jump up all the weight classes. My man could be getting out of, uh, you know, recovery, mm -hmm. and then oh, let me go fight. Like yeah. uh -huh. he was a natural. He was not. It, yeah. He wasn't like regular fighter. He was a natural. Yeah, the the guy was who was with him, that what's the white dude that would be in this corner? He knew it. Lou Duva. Uh, Duva. Duva. Yeah, yeah, Duva. 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 Knew Pernell was a guy where it's like, okay, you, you wrap his hands, you put the gloves on, you put him out there. Yeah, because he knew all of them since they were kids. Yeah. Evander Holyfield, Duve, uh, Pernell, um, Mel and, and Meldrick Taylor. Yeah, uh, them three, he knew them. He, he, he got a hold of, um, what's the guy, uh, Mark Brillen, after because of the Olympics, but he knew all the other ones when they was fighting in the amateurs. Yeah. Hey, I'm 
What's up? What you think about the fight this week weekend? Uh, what's your name? Hitchinson. Who fight? Hitchin. What's his name? Hitchens. Richard Hitchens. 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 Who is Hitchens fighting though? I don't even know. I, ain't, I don't even know. He probably gonna Hitchens. Hitchens really good. Hitchens really. Uh, he don't get the he don't get the recognition though. He fighting Shakur weight class. Yeah, one forty. No, he one forty. He one forty. Oh, did y'all see that? Um, when when they had that was that you that showed that video of Kermu calling uh Raleigh a, a bum? Was yeah, that, seen that? Oh no, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't post that. But yeah, Yo, Kermu that was called, funny. Called Raleigh a bum years ago. He was a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh. Well, there's funny. no problem. In, that's well, there's no problem in telling the truth. And you know what, though? That's because the way that Carmel, Carmel, uh, was brought up under Floyd Mayweather. So Carmel, his, his whole thing is skills, skills, skills. Yeah, so yeah. enough for him to look at a fighter and be like, "Nah, you yeah. don't really have a high skill." Yeah, at that he young age, up to a certain standards. So I understood mm-hmm. exactly where he was coming from. Because he was a baby, man. <laughs> he damn near was on Rolly lap. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I laughed so hard at that. I was like, Yo. he told him you a trash really fighter. Start cracking up. He said, "I'm not coming." Well, to, well, to be honest, well, to be honest, everybody calls Roly trash. He is. I, mean, I don't how- think. I think skill wise, you can say Roly trash, but um, Roly is just a brawler. Yeah, Roly, you know what? He's I was a done? terrible fighter. Bro. No, Roly. I, like like I would have looked up. I would have studied the brawlers of the past. Yeah, he's a from there, but he's I wouldn't have tried to make him into a boxer. That's what he's so bad in these performances. Okay, so yeah. I saw I saw the video where Roly is saying to Tio, "Yo, boxing is so easy, bro. Please, no, no you can say that. You know why? You can he can say that. You know why? Because he started at a real late age, and he he I ain't, well, he did wear a title. I mean, how many people that boxed in their lives could actually say, regardless of how you got it? I had a world title uh, under I, under thirty amateur fights. He got a title in like eight years from the time he started. But um, KJ but, under thirty amateur fights too. Yeah, so I'm saying Roly, Roly, he world he was very inexperienced. That's why I said mm-hmm. I don't know how you had him beating Pitbull, but I thought I thought he would brought him out and definitely. Uh, no, this is the way Roly fucked up. coaches. Nope. They try to they they see you lose the tank and go. Oh, we got to work on our boxing. <laughs> no, you got to work on your brawling. The yeah. thing on your you fundamentals. Good, you gotta, yeah, you got to enhance yeah. what you do good. Roll your fundamentals. Your fundamentals are trash. Fundamental you got to learn that too. Though. You can't train a chin. Better, His chin found a weak. Yeah, you, that's a, that's exactly what I was telling people. Like they was in here. You it was before you got in here, Dom. But I was telling people, if you got a chin, then you have a chin. If you don't, then you don't. Doing the exercise, all it does is make it so. Now you could take punches from all t- like you know top power punches. That's what doing the neck exercises does for a fighter that already have a chin. But there's no workout that's gonna give Amir Khan a chin. There's no workout that's gonna give Roly a chin. It's wait, just wait, Don and Kate. I think he's doing that. My trainer used to say if you got a lot of shots. My trainer used to say if you got a chin, you got a chance. Yeah. I think he do got a chin, Don. He was taking a lot of shots. He ain't never go down. No, we don't got a chin. Oh no. Very weak. Man. No, dude, Roly began dropping sparring with like twenty ounce headgear. Like, and, yeah, and they, start dropped, that's because like, he stayed really conditioned. Supposed to get dropped in the sparring, it can happen, but he don't have a chin. It's nothing wrong with not having a chin. There's a lot of fighters don't have a chin. It's not no disrespect. Mm-hmm, yeah. I like you Roly. Can, I think Roly should work on his brawling tactics. Like, yeah, yeah, we're study the great that. brawlers and start from there. How did oh, they train? And when yeah. and Levi, when Roly said boxing was easy, listen to exactly what he was saying. He was saying all you got to do is. You know, and not get him, hit. do this and that. To me, it was clear that he wasn't really pushing himself um, with the training camps because yeah. if he was really training, training, that shit is not easy. There's nothing easy about them four regimens. Like, but you got to understand, Rowley is a talker. Rowley is a talker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the other thing he needs to, he needs to do. He needs yeah. to learn how to shut his mouth and put his money where his mouth is. No, no, no. Yeah, I keep talking that shit, man. No, he, he's good at That's why he's famous. Yeah, he that's shit. why. That's why. That's why. That's why. See him and Adrian Rol- Bona go ahead in the press conference. Rol- they would have really Rol- talked his way to where he is. Everybody that's knows. Good. Ain't that wrong with talking your way? That's good. Yeah, yeah, Ali talked his way the way he was at. Yeah. 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 Ali had his skills. Yeah, I remember Ali showed up to Joe Frazier's gym, man. It was crazy. Ali showed up to gym. Everybody could gym. He's a great fight. <laughs> Ali can back up his talk. When is Roy ever said, back uh, up his talk in a big fight? Ali usually show up to everybody's camp with that he get ready to fight. Yeah, he, he did that too. Oh, in this Paul fight, Roy talked so much shit and Roley got beat up so bad. Roy backed it up so when he won that world championship. 
Uh, we, we could be here for days talking about Ali. Yo, <laughs> Ali conversation, bro. We, you you Yo, snap. The the okay. They was getting on NBA 2K, man. They said it's, my man said, he said it was crazy like he was alive back then. <laughs> hey, I wasn't even born back then, but sure. I know I a lot of people either, boxing, bro. bro. I mean, you guys remember, Ali mm. started fighting. Ali won the title in 63. I wasn't yeah. even thought of. It was 64. It was 64. Yeah, 64. I was still in my father nuts. Yo, hold on. They said boost yeah. but the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. Damn. Well, well, that could be of true. Course it, of course it's going to get worse because but Bud's going to be even more inactive. And older, so I don't you, know why Bud's talking so Look, heavy. No, 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 but you know what, though? It. I don't know why Bud sat mm -hmm. on the shelf for another year. That wasn't smart to me. That wasn't because he got he got greedy. He got a taste of what yeah. money he made with Spence, and then he said, "I want nothing more than that." No, he ain't greedy. Or he, nothing less than that. I mean, what do we? I mean, he's thirty six years old. We want. That's what I'm saying. He ain't get greedy. He did well, all he, those. Yeah, he but, did all those up and coming fights with. Yeah, so, he already proved himself as a boxer. Himself. Now it's time for him to cash and, out. But the thing well, is, they're against, not trying to let, allow him to cash out, and he doesn't want to sign with PBC. So now he's caught between yeah. the rocks and the hard place. Yeah, yes. some people don't understand. Know, but, they understand boxing, but they don't understand the business. <laughs> I know, but he should have yeah, signed with PBC years ago. It would have changed the whole. Literally, Errol Spence probably wouldn't have got beat so damn bad if Terrence Crawford was years ago. Because Errol, yeah, because Errol had an outgrown the weight class at that time. Exactly. He still would have, I think he still would have lost. I think he would have won, KJ. He had to gotten into a car crash. Yeah, but um, losing. Bud wants the money and he deserves the money. I get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bud wants the money and he he deserves the money. I get that. But who's he going to fight that's going to get him that big money? Canelo has already said, I'm not going to fight you. So you can't just sit on the shelf waiting for these big fights to come to you. You got to stay active. Well, that's why he's debating with with um with Spence now. Who's fighting? What's the Fundura? Well, yeah, he's not debating. Well, well, like, WBO like neither one of them gonna get the winner of that fight was going to be had to fight Terrence Crawford. Well, I mean, Errol Spence mandate. fighting that man. But this is the thing that I keep people have to understand with this boxing because People always bring up, oh well, you know the board. They bring up, you know the uh, the the sanctioning bodies. But bruh, Floyd and them got money. They at the end of the day, Floyd goes to these sanctioning bodies, their members, and say, look, this is what you gonna get on the back end if you if you let me have my way. That's how they move, and I say it's like the mafia. We talking about Floyd <laughs> because really, really, Errol Smith is not supposed to get a fight with Fundor. But I promise you, he's gonna get a fight with Fundor because Floyd and Al, they're gonna bring out the books and they're gonna say, This is what Arrow is gonna bring y'all. The 3% that y'all get, this is the chunk that y'all gonna get. And we'll slide you another check. Terrence cannot offer you that. And Terrence is not even a signed fighter. Terrence is a free agent. So Terrence fucking up his own career trying to be stubborn. Yeah. Like, it, like, bro. I was about to say that. You know who PBC rocking with? Yeah, Arrow, Arrow that fight. He's making yeah. terrible business Arrow decisions. Yeah, he should have just signed with PBC. It makes no sense. Sign with PBC. You already made, uh, you know, over ten million. Yeah, yep. you're never gonna do the, you know, be my own boss thing because Wait, people don't understand. Man. I said this in the yep. last live. Floyd is not his own boss. Floyd, mm -hmm. he's under Al Heyman, and both of them are under another boss that don't nobody never heard of. Floyd is not like Floyd just out here. Yeah, I'm a I'm a free agent. And I'm gonna make this fight and make that fight. No, it's a team of people. Yeah, he started a, a business deal. Around. It's a business thing with them though. So, so it's, it's ways where Floyd could back out of that because it's like yeah. a partnership. I mean, but, but, but it's, it's different though. Al Heyman built his company off the back of Floyd Mayweather. So That's Floyd would have more stock than any other PBC fighter ever. Yep. So, but it, so you're not going to be able to... Bud doesn't have the, the brain trust. Bud would have to go out and find an Al Heyman and he would have to reverse the clock and be like 25 yep. again. But he don't have the. You gotta have the personality. He doesn't have the personality exactly. of a Floyd. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Have, he don't. He don't got that. He doesn't have that. I don't care. He he debate. He goes online and debate about crap. I'm like, come on, man. That's, come on, that's not Floyd. That's why when, I, when people say Floyd was the greatest, I don't think they only talk about his skills. No, they not. No, no. His, his oh, marketing a skills. His yeah. boxing skills and marketing skills, and it, people called him dumb and every. I remember. Uh, 50 yeah, he was a good promoter too. 50 Cent said you can't read. He said I could count. <laughs> yeah. He told he told uh, 50 told him he had to read a Harry Potter book or something yeah. like that. Man, 50 was just what mad because 
Floyd no longer wanted to uh deal embark on a business deal with him. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Because because I think they were doing management 50. with boxing. You have they to understand were, 50, yeah. his his time came and went in the 2000s. Floyd and 50, they, they their relationship started in the early 2000s. Yeah. But then 20 years later, Floyd Mayweather is still relevant. That's why 50 yeah. was mad. AKJ like, oh, 50 after I'm, Diddy's I'm, ass, man. Nobody in the rap game, but, still, <laughs> but what he yeah. said, but I don't know if it's true. 50 said he owned that name, the money team. <laughs> man. Be talking, yo. That's what he said. He said I he's yeah, yeah, I incorporated that. that name. <laughs> he said that. At I, one point, I don't trust 50 when it comes to Floyd because 50 sold himself to be, you know. A rival, and him and Floyd are supposed to be friends. So yeah. once you saw that you're a rival, you gonna say anything. You you gonna throw darts in the media. Like this man, yeah. watch Floyd. He, he started hanging with Floyd because he liked the business move that Floyd was making. Then he goes on on TV and on, on social media talking about oh, Floyd can't read Harry mm -hmm. Potter and that yeah. all of that because the man no longer wanted to do a business deal with you. So yep. if you really owned the money team, you wouldn't even have been that mad that he didn't want to because That's you it. were making money yeah, off the yeah. money team. You owned it. He said, I can take a report tape for that name. Is. Somebody like, say 50 Cent ruined Gamboa's career. That could be true because, you know, they say 50 stole Gamboa from Floyd, but at the end of the day, um, Gamboa, the one who got to train, he the one that got to, um, he's the one training. Yeah, he the yeah. He's the one that got to spar. So I don't know how 50 could ruin his career. Yeah, nah, and Gamboa, you know didn't he have a gold medal in the Olympics? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Cuban. Yeah, so like, Cuba. Oh yeah, yeah, Cuba, Cuba. Gamboa yeah, became a punching bag. Cuban national. <laughs> so, so he got cruise. He got beat by Boots. He got beat by everybody. They said he had Gamboa. Terrence Crawford, Tank. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, Gamboa for Boots. It bull beat him. Yeah, yeah. that's late. Pitbull yeah, that's late. Yeah, that's yeah. Pitbull beat him. We beat him. Tank beat him. Pitbull beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Like yeah, he became a gatekeeper and in his career. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Let me get this name on my record. He he yeah. he 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 had a little name coming up, you know. Let me get that name. So that's all he did. Yeah, that's all it was. But he he was a decent fighter. He just wasn't a fighter that I believe should have. I mean, could hold one thirty five. Uh, no, one thirty, mm -hmm. right? He should have stayed. He was a featherweight, right? He came right. in and he went up. He went up all the way yeah. up to. He went he all the way up so to so little. KJ. Did he, I go, have a did he go to No, 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 he did. He, he went to 135. 35, and that's when he 35. started really getting clobbered. But uh, I, I think when he, when Terrence Crawford got him, he was an undefeated fighter. Yeah, yeah. Terrence Crawford got him, and everybody back then, everybody thought Gamboa was gonna beat Crawford. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't sure, but I because I, I, I haven't really was looking at Crawford too much at that time. So I wasn't sure. That was but, a good yeah. fight. That was a good fight. Great fight. Gamboa almost K had him. Gamboa, Gamboa almost, almost had him. him. Was K K KJ, had him, yeah. I, have a, I have a fight for you to go and watch tonight. Go watch Diego Corrales versus Asalino Freitas. Go watch that fight. You ever seen that, that fight? A war where they, where they going back and forth? Oh, yeah. That was like seven <laughs> knockdowns. Yeah. I've I, I seen highlights, but I never watched the full fight. How did KJ do about that? <laughs> How? So I go uh, back and watch. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and go watch. Uh, <laughs> right now, I'll be watching all the fights. <laughs> yeah, well, cool. well, I mean, the throwback fights, the '90s and the yeah, '80s I, fights I, are the I best. Used, I used to come up in one of them dirty, dirty yeah. gyms in Harlem, the raggedy gyms, and they all they had was that big TV, uh, and they used to play all the old fights. The Jersey Joe Walker stayed on that TV. That's why I, I, I love Jersey Joe. A lot of people don't know Jersey Joe because they look at his record. But they didn't understand you know, that he Jersey Joe Walker. Jersey Joe Walker. He fought oh, for the mob. Bad man, that's boy. That's why he had so many losses. He had to throw fights for the mob. Yeah, and people, people don't. Know a lot of them old. A lot of them old fighters. They don't respect. They see all them laws. They don't know what the hell they talking about. But watch his watch film. You study film. Jersey Joe was ahead of his time. Footwork out of this that's world. Good. Footwork. Yeah, his, he, his, he had the he had the Jersey got, Joe Walcott shuffle. Who yeah, came out to Jersey mm -hmm. Joe? Ali. And Walcott was the first person to knock Joe Lewis and Rocky Marciano down. <laughs> and he, he, he and was a the beast. thing is, he knocked Rocky down as soon as the damn fight started. Like, 
he was a much better boxer like, than Rocky. He actually beat Jamal. Yeah, yeah. He beat Rashid Jamal's Rocky. I mean, he beat um uh, 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 what you call on the first fight, but they messed up on the scorecards Ooh. and they couldn't reverse it. Walcott, yeah. he beat um uh, uh, um Lewis. He beat Joe Lewis the first fight. Okay, and okay. They, and they messed up on the cards, and they and they that's how he got the rematch, and then he got knocked out. But um, he beat him in the first one. They, he wasn't they, even. He had no business fighting. Jersey Joe Walcott was not a real heavyweight number one. Um, he was undersized heavyweight. Rocky was undersized too, but Rocky was was younger than him. Jersey Joe was older than him when they fought. But well, Jersey Joe like, gained the weight. Walcott. He gained the weight. He put the weight on well. He we know he's started as a middleweight, but he put that weight on very good. He, he I was. Don't, I don't be like He was big as though. a Charles. Oh, he I'm was bigger than Ezra Charles. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, exactly. He was still big, bigger than Ezra Charles. Yeah, and Rocky and, Rocky and, Rocky. Ezra Charles to me has to be top ten all time. But um, the he fact that Ezra was able to knock that man out. You have to be a you have to be a boxing connoisseur if you was born after fucking two thousand to know that 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 Ezra Charles was a great fighter because a lot of cats don't know that. He top ten all time. I don't give. I watch the fights. I watch the tape. Yo, the man beat Archie Moore, bro. The man, man, bro. The man, man beat Archie man. Moore. Huh? He beat Archie Moore, bro. That's all you have to say. And he beat Jersey Joe. But you know, people, they, they look at Archie Moore like he a scrub today. No, yeah, because they don't know nothing about boxing, bro. Yeah. And Archie was out there old as hell trying to beat champions, man. Well, he was Archie, doing it a lot of times. When Archie was fight, when Archie had retired from boxing, he was one of the most respected boxers in the, in the, in the world. He could actually go and train anybody. Like when George nah, Foreman was coming nah, up. You know. Yes, well, you know that. Well, you know, because <laughs> Dundee, even, you know, that's. Uh, but even George Foreman called him up, bro. Right. The man was real respected. Yeah, him too. Respected. Um, I'm going to tell the story, though. Ali actually did go to him to learn, but Ali's style, he couldn't get with the Archie Moore. Archie yeah. Moore wanted him to do the. um. The crouch style. Yeah, the crouch style. Like, oh, like, totally. I was like, man, I ain't doing this shit. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know if this was before, after they actually fought, you know, Archie Moore was way past his prime. Wait. So Ali was like, yeah, I'm going to hurt this old man. But yeah, Ali tore him up. Yeah, saying, get this man a picture. Give him a picture. He was yelling at the ring, get this man a picture. Get him out yeah. the ring. Get him a picture. Ali was funny, man. Archie was way past. He was, he was done, man. He was done. Yeah, he was. He was done in a lot of fights. He was done when he fought yeah. as the draws. Yeah. yeah. Archie, Archie was an old man. He wasn't no young dude. But you know, you know, he said somebody, I think Archie said, um, one of them black murderers road cats beat him in, in his prime. I don't know if it was them. Uh, I don't know if it was Burley. Oh, okay. I don't know. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. But he said he said oh, it might have been Charlie Burley. Oh, Homer Williams. Yeah, Homer Williams. He said Homer Williams beat him <laughs> in his prime when he was young. He said Homer Archie Archie is Moore. And I watched this on YouTube. But the dude said, Archie Moore said that when people ask him who the greatest fight he ever fought, he tell him Rocky Marciano because he know that's what they want to hear. But he said Homer Williams was really the best he ever fought. That's the one from Philly, right? I believe so. Homer Williams from Philly, yeah. I, I read, I, I did. They did a documentary on that dude. Yeah, it was, yeah. He he was good. Well, what they showed, he was a good fighter. He just a lot of the a lot of them fighters then then got lost through history. That's why I don't like. I'm not. You cannot nowadays when you see a motherfucker with a belt on, it don't mean much to me. This shit is this shit. The boxing now is not. It ain't really like that, man. It ain't really like that. Dude's, dude's not going up against top competition <laughs> back to back to back like how. They had to do uh and when it was you know the, the color championships but and all that shit. The best, bro. that's for the best man i mean come on every boxer when i grew up man every old boxer that i bumped into they they speech was all slurred they were all broke they were all messed up man i don't I understand know. that but i'm saying at least at least this get you get two to three showcase fights two wars and also i think a lot of them dudes were messed up for sticking around too long and the way that they used to spar they used to be having real fights in the sparring gym it wasn't necessarily the fact that they was fighting good competition but you're not supposed to be 40 years old still trying to um fight these young up-and-coming dudes you should be retired and you shouldn't be sparring trying to kill each other on a regular basis in the gym uh, so mm -hmm. i don't know it's a lot of different stuff man yeah when i see iran barkley man it hurts my soul man 
Dude barely could talk, man. Mm. Mel Teller like is, is, is the best Teller is, is. Oh my God, Mel Teller is hard. Yo, Lou Duva actually he wanted to fight. Lou Duva told him, "No, I'm not going to support. That. I'm not going to be involved in this." No, after mm -hmm. Terry Norris destroyed him, they was like, "That's it, man." He was like, "No, I still want to fight." They cut him off. They told him, "If you fight, it'd be with somebody else." Yeah, yeah. and he still went mm -hmm. into the extra fights. Were really that's yeah. what really I think cements you you having whatever words um slurring and all that like you know who's somebody who i don't i didn't want to fight no more and i hope he's done and i hope that they don't pay him no more checks to go out there and get knocked out since we talked we was talking about crawford and and then but um we were just talking about his ass uh gamboa oh yeah 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 gamboa yeah. needs to hang it up no more no more i think he's had it hung up he hasn't fought since the pitbull fight since the pitbull yeah yeah, I think you yeah, never know. Like they, these motherfuckers, they do shady stuff. They they send you a check. Oh, come on back. Uh, you know we gonna we gonna match you up. And boxers love to fight. If you really love the sport, you will never want to give it up. You gotta learn how to walk away. That's why saving your money, <laughs> investing your money correctly means you really a lot. The money, money, you ain't right. gonna hang it up. Huh? If you really love the money, you ain't gonna hang it up because a lot of these guys. If you really love money, you should have invested it when you had it. Exactly, because then you have more money. Yeah. But it's because they, they don't be having the right team behind them, man. Yeah. Somebody yeah. says King Kong should hang it up too. King Kong's still dangerous, but he is old. He need to hang it up too. Yeah, he need to hang it up. Hey, 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 Barroso's old. That motherfucker just, doing this thing. I think he just beat. I think he just beat somebody. Um, he okay. had fought. I think last Wait, year sometime. KJ, he KJ, I got a question. That looked like uh, Booker T. It was crazy. KJ, I got a question. Who no. would win if who? Or would that be an entertaining fight if Barroso fought Pitbull? I don't know. Man, I want to see Matias and Pitbull. That's the only fight I want to see right now, Matias and Pitbull. Yeah, that's that's gonna be crazy. But what um, what a Barroso fought Pitbull? When when, uh, when when um Keffer was talking about that, but that's gonna be a bloodbath, man. That's that gonna be wild. Like I, mean, I love wow. it. I want to see that so bad because that's what they want. They those two fighters are built for each other. Well, man. That's what their that's what their countries want. Well, not even say country, because Puerto Rico not a country, but and, and Haney versus Tio. Area one, Puerto Rico. Boy, that would be you know, crazy. And Mexico, Haney versus Tio. They come, they're coming to see that type of that type of fight. Versus Puerto Rico. <laughs> I like Haney versus Tio. Haney versus Tio. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's not a fight I want to see. I think Tio. I don't want to see it, but I respect them for doing it because they. I will respect them if they make it happen. I want to see. I, Shakur got to get in the mix with these guys. I don't give a fuck what nobody said about him being born. Ryan Garcia versus Shakur. Actually, I'm doing a video. Ryan actually calling out um who call out Pitbull. Ryan he did? He Pitbull. That's oh, an I, interesting fight. I Ryan like that. said this point blank. He said he's been fighting people like Pitbull his whole life. That's a, he said that's an easy fight for him. I disagree. Oh, I think Pitbull would beat him. Oh no no no. Whoa, KJ. Yeah. I, I, I think say one thing, KJ. Right. Uh, one thing about brawlers. They are suspect. They they are uh, they take left hooks all day. Yeah, even even is, Raleigh was connecting left hooks on them. Yeah, but Tank Davis connected them them hooks. Man, I got I have mm -hmm. Tank connected right hooks on them, yeah. and I had freeze frames of Pitbull like this. You know what I mean? He, <laughs> that, no, he was crazy. Yes. Pitbull. That man <laughs> until he get older, until he gets older and really he not be able to take them shots like that no more. He will walk through Ryan. Yeah, I don't know how he Pitbull has an amazing run, 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 run. Let's be honest, Ryan ain't is really I like... want to see that Pitbull and Ryan, and they both, you know, Ryan, the Mexicans, they be that, iffy right. about whether or not he's Mexican, but that's a great sense. Canelo don't oh, want to really funny. put on for Mexican to fight David. He Mexican, man. Huh? <laughs> he Mexican. He white, he white Mexican. Like, yeah, they love the, Canelo. Uh, they love Canelo. Uh, Canelo look Irish. So, yeah, he's <laughs> no, so what the hell? I think I was thinking about Ryan. He's Mexican. I ain't gonna even lie to you. When I first saw Canelo fight, I said, "Yo, this Irish dude is nice." <laughs> he talking about Mexico. I was like, "Mexico? This dude ain't no damn Mexican. He's from Ireland." Then there were freckles. Mexican American, but if you ask a lot of Mexicans, they're, Boy, if he's La Raza, they're not gonna say he's La Raza. They don't say. They don't say he's white. If you didn't come up in Mexico or been fighting in the Mexican, you know, in Mexico, they're not gonna consider you Mexican because they didn't. Delahoy, they never considered Delahoy a Mexican. Damn. After, Damn. Uh, after Ortiz, after Victor Ortiz's last fight a few months ago, Bill Haney was going around the arena asking people if Ryan was Laraza, and they saying, "No, we don't claim him." 
Mm. Yeah, that's what they said. That's what they said. They don't claim him. They just don't. The great, greatest Delahoy was they never claimed Delahoy. When he <laughs> fought Chavez, Chavez was an old man. That crowd was like, Chavez, Chavez. He was getting his ass beat. But they yeah, wanted yeah. Chavez to win. Because the say he La Raza. 1.6 million say he La Raza because how is he selling <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking about Vandal. Oh, just because, listen, because, listen, because, listen, let me tell you why, though, man. Let me tell you why. We made money. So that no, don't I'm going to tell you why, though, Don. I'm going to tell you why 1.6 million say he La Raza. Because at the end of the day, Tank Davis black. Uh huh. So they're going to band together against, you know. Gonna turn yeah. up I'm going to tell you a funny like, story, yeah. man. I'm going to tell you a story one time. It was this a car accident in my neighborhood one time, right? So the car that hit the other car, a black guy came out. He was saying, sorry, sorry. And it was two Puerto Ricans in the other car. They was like, no, Poppy, you got to take this. You, we want our money now. He started speaking in Spanish. They called <laughs> other Spanish dudes came over. It was like 10 of them. He, like, he started speaking in Spanish. The other one, <laughs> just, it was like, yo, we stick together no matter what complexion you are. You Hispanic, you go. So they stick together, bro. That, they stick together. <laughs> they might say what they got to say. My boy called, he might call a, 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 somebody from Dominican Republic a dummy in the can, but let somebody else mess with them. They'll all be together. And if anybody yeah. who's Hispanic on this page, they know what I'm talking about. That's not no cat. <laughs> True stuff. That's back. They yeah. said, who is Broner getting ready for? Broner getting ready for that um, that dude that, um, that yeah, said. Yeah, that AB about to fight. I can't think of the dude's name, but the guy yeah. said, this, this, this dude crazy. He signed with Don King number one, but number two, I'll never forget him. I don't remember his name, but I remember his face. This man said that Errol Spence got in the car crash. Yeah, Blair, Blair, Blair Cobb. Yeah, Blair, Blair Cobb said Errol Spence got in the car crash because he didn't want to make the fight with Terrence Crawford. He said that's what happened when you don't do the right thing or something. It was the craziest thing I ever heard. That's the dumbest shit you could even say, man. You can say, yo. You know, you, I, Blair, I, I, I think that dude already out. brain dead. Or something, something happened to that dude. I don't know. Blair, Blair Cobb is sniffing that shit. Yeah, Cobb. The Cobb ain't. He already got knocked out, right? Don't right, forget. He got knocked out ever saying it. So Errol Smith was watching. He got knocked out. He, got knocked out. he was saying, you know, put him in the dirt. Don't <laughs> forget. Don't forget. That was some crazy shit I heard, man. My man, AB and Lucy. Five years. No, no Kukwaz got Charlo. knocked out by a nobody. Charlo would have killed that dude. This dude ain't on no Charlo level. Cobb, Cobb, Cobb is a welterweight too. Come on, man, stop it. Uh, and, and Charlo ain't good, so I'm not bigging Charlo up. But if he did four, I think Charlo, no, I think Charlo is good, man. I like Charlo. Charlo is very good. I, just good. Don't, I don't think that he, he, he no legend. He's not, he not like top. Uh, I think you don't think he's a legend. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Don. Who'd you say? My bad, Fabio. Okay. Who you talking to me or? Yeah, I'm asking because I said, yeah, Charlo, I said I think Charlo, Charlo is not good. good. I to know why you said you don't think he, he's You're good. You're not going to mention his name 10 years from now. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's a lot of fighters like that. Yeah, well, they go in that category. What? <laughs> he's not a memorable fighter. Okay, that's true. That's true. That's true. With the way that's that Charlo, cool. Charlo wanted his name to be re uh, remembered, he would have fought uh, balls he, to the wall against Canelo. They exactly. Would have him forever. Exactly. They'd have been exactly. talking about him forever. Well, yep. even if he got not, if he would have dropped Canelo one time, Shit, they've been, <laughs> they been bringing that up for 20 years. Yo, y'all remember when Charlo dropped Canelo and then yeah. got knocked out in the 12th round? But you remember when yeah, he dropped Canelo? That's true, though. That's like, true, bro. You got fighters <laughs> considered great at the time that I knew wasn't great, like Terrible Terry Norris. You don't hear his name no more. Yeah, people, nobody talk about Terry no more. Nope, because he wasn't that great. He was put Wait. in a situation. He was. He had the greatest time and and run in one fifty four. Was Terry Norris undisputed? Everybody left after he got knocked out by Julian Jackson and da da da. Everybody left one fifty four, and he had it all by himself. Was he undisputed yeah. though? Well, back then they didn't really care about that. That's I mean, how. Yeah. So I think That's I think thing. Charles that, name. Was, but he did win both. First time he really had got four belts and yeah. uh, people really yeah, cared. He about had two belts because he took Simon Brown belt. Oh, one he took. I think Simon Brown. No, Simon Brown came up and got knocked out, and then he yeah, he did. Uh, uh, he beat Terry Norris, and then Terry Norris now beat him the second one. So, I just want people to, so um, he had the belt. And he took it back. Don't forget KJ because he did wipe out the one fifty four division. But who? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I say. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don just saying Charlo not a memorable fighter. He's he, not. And not, I, I, I actually I have to agree because who, who, this is the only reason why. The only reason why I'm gonna say I agree. I like Charlo and I broke down a lot of his fights. And I like how I like his work ethic. Really, 
Jamel yeah, Charlo we're good. is more talented, but Jamel Charlo became undisputed because he loved boxing more. And he focused more on the sport. This is before the recent yep. stuff that he's been doing. But anyway, the only reason he's not going to be memorable, like I already said, you cannot get in there against a legend and perform like that. Yep. You're, you're remembered in boxing for, for what you do against the legends. That's true, yeah. What are we going to say about him? Remember he knocked yeah, out yeah, Lubin? Really <laughs> yeah, like, nobody going to say that. The only <laughs> Duh, thing they're going to say yeah. is, oh, Charlo, he the one that ran from Canelo. That's going to be what they talk about. Yeah. If you bring up Charlo and Mexico 20 years from now, they go, yo, Canelo, he had him co Correa. Correa. <laughs> <laughs> Women was clowning in Charlo after the fight, bro. It's over for bro. Yeah. Hey, after the Women. fight, what do you say? At least I ain't getting knocked out. Yeah, yeah let me know. <laughs> the lamest shit ever, man. Yeah. Was, that, man that, guess what? That's why y'all needed respect. That's why I respect Roly Romero. Roly got that bitch trying to win. Uh, <laughs> he don't go out there really. trying to lay down. Roly yep. goes out there trying to win. If he get laid down in the process, oh, it is what it is. That's what I'm Do saying. Roly got a bad leg or something? Like Roly with the Roly, Roly got a bad leg or something? What you mean? Every time I see him fight, it look like he limping. I bet you. He probably was just hurt, man. <laughs> no, every time at the start of the fight, like he looked like he limping yeah, or something. Got, Maybe no, that's Roly got a bad leg. Yeah, Roly not a great right. mover. He's just not, Roly not the most coordinated uh, athlete for real. For yeah, real. we know that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that's why his move is not That's back to you. Okay. Somebody said, KJ, I remember in 2023, you said this year Tank can't run no more. You still stand on that statement. Yeah. Tank by the fight Frank Martin. That's not an easy fight. Even if Tank win that fight, he's never fought an athlete under the lights like, like Frank Martin. He's never fought. Everyone Tank has fought has had slow feet. Every lap. Name he's not fought, fought a fighter with fast feet uh yet. And this is Southpaw he fighting. And well, I mean, why Shakur will beat that's why Shakur will beat Tank so out against Southpaw. That's so well, I ain't have to heard. fight Loma. He gonna have to if Loma win against uh George, he gonna have to fight him, bro. He gonna have to Loma and Tank not gonna fight. Yeah, Loma little and watch Don, Don, and they do fight. I, still, I don't give a damn. Even though Loma older, I still got my money on Loma. I don't give a fuck. I know Loma versus the style, Tank. The style that Loma got will beat Tank. I know it, and there's no there's no offense to Tank. That's if that's, that's, Loma, that's if Loma don't get hurt. Oh, oh, okay. why Tank don't fight these guys? You see, Loma don't get hurt against who? Can Boso? No, Tank. Tank. Oh, oh, Tank. I mean, of course, Tank can knock him out, but I don't think it's gonna happen, bro. Loma oh, has no. so much experience. Loma been boxing his whole life. He still does the in and out movement. Time and great. The man has seen it all. He's not gonna be. I think y'all seen going that into the fight. He not be going into the fight thinking, damn, what about getting knocked what, out? But like oh, you no, said, no, no, no. what you gonna do if, if Tank just walk you down and throw them hooks at you? He gonna you kick think coming. Tank is gonna walk down a fighter with that type of footwork? I don't think no, so. No, if he loses, if he loses. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, he get no, he get no. Yeah, if he right. loses, so. But but I don't think you know why they're not gonna fight Loma because they know Loma is still a dangerous. Loma is the most dangerous gatekeeper in the world right now, Real like tough. number one. Yeah. So. You don't want to be Tank Davis losing to a 36 year old Loma, especially after Devin Hart beat him. Hayden beat him. Yep, especially yeah, so if it's high risk, low, low, low reward, they will mm -hmm. never fight. What are we going to do from the, the division? Longer tank wait to fight people, the higher the risk becomes, though. That's like, bro, get to it. I mean, yeah, but guess <laughs> well, what? Not with, not with, not with, not with Lomachenko because Loma's older. Yeah, not with Loma. Uh, Loma well, no, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's a, the risk with Loma. Loma uh, yeah, Loma's person. older. So actually, Loma probably going to fall off before Tank fall off. But the risk is you don't want to lose to somebody that Devin already beat. Like, yeah. you just don't. It is So he's never going to fight Loma. But we don't need him to fight Loma. 135 is stacked. After Frank Martin, there is competition in a lightweight division for a tank. Or, like I've been telling y'all, he's just going to go to 140 and rematch with Pitbull and get a 140-pound belt while fighting an actual 135-pound fighter. That's what yeah. I think they're going with. That's his best bet. Because I don't, I don't see him growing into 140. He's just so little, man. But he got power though. But I, ah, uh, he can, he can, the think power he can not gonna be enough. You gonna have to, you gonna have to really, yeah. really get, get a skill, get better skill. Yeah. The power yeah. not, you not gonna be able to just beat do everybody how you did Barrios because it's different caliber fighters that's holding yeah. the belts. Yeah, definitely. I, I think everybody with a belt is better than Barrios. I mean, I think Regis, Regis fight at 40, and I feel like him and Regis around the same size. He had not reached the pass out. Yeah, he had not reached his head off. Regis was champion yeah, this boy. So yeah, not they believe that Tank would knock out Regis. I, I think that Regis, he wouldn't have the footwork for a Tank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Tank was like, demolished. Regis is not a big guy. He's a small guy. <laughs> I mean, Devin Haney dropped progress. Tank would knock him out most definitely. Yeah. yeah he definitely knock him out.
But that's that's just yeah, going with a mean hook. Mean hook. But but that looks well. Sometimes that fight like like Tank and Pitbull be easy fights for some fighters, and and can't beat a Devin Haney or or or, or, or um Lopez. Lopez is not Pitbull supposed to be champion is actually at all. probably going to be the, yeah, the easiest comp for Tank. He's mm -hmm. smaller than all the rest. Of, him and Tank are the, around the same size, so Tank not going to have to really be worried about the weight. Number Pitbull, one, Lopez. number two, he already beat him. Uh, that's number two, and and, and number three. People fighting a straight line, like <laughs> nothing different. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, wait. I have a question. I mean, if just, if Lopez know. if Lopez fought Cambosis again, who would win? Lopez. Oh, Tio would win the second one. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. Tio for sure. He shouldn't have I lost. Don't go for the rematch. Really. He was fighting. He should have lost the first one. Yeah, he's a better boxer. He didn't have that. If he didn't had the confidence when he dropped George, because he dropped dropped George after George dropped him, he didn't follow through. Either that bell rang too early, or he didn't follow well, through. Well, he said he had a collapsed lung or a tear in his lungs. Yeah, That's he, why he was supposed to go to the like hospital, and he didn't. Hey man, if y'all in here, make sure y'all tap on the screen. To all the people in the chat, because motherfucking TikTok just sent me a notification talking about. We detected inactivity during the live. I had to verify that I was on the live. Like, what the fuck? There's almost a hundred people in this motherfucker. What the hell? I don't know. Tap the screen. Everybody tap the screen. Talking good shit. Tap the screen. Gary did good against Loma, in my opinion. Gary did great against Loma. Loma just had it was hitting him with them angles, bro. That was a great fight. Loma yeah, that's a great fight. fight. I, I like Gary. Him. Gary could beat him for real. I like that. No, I don't think Gary could beat him. You don't think so? Uh, the angles, the angles are fucking them up. Yeah, yeah. And Lomo, and Lomo right, saw too. Antoine Angel. Russell on uh, Blue Bud today, and he was talking about getting a fight, um, trying to get a fight with one of the champions. Y'all think he could beat any any of the four at one forty? Gary Antoine Russell. Yeah, I bet to KJ about him. Well, anything can happen, but when we look at matchups, he, he don't get recognition. When I look at it on paper. If anything, no man, he should try to go after Matias. Yeah, yeah, him and Matias. Or, or you know what? You know what? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really. think Gary not a good mover, but Pitbull would be the smallest out of all of them. So Pitbull or Matias, if you're trying to get or a belt. Him and Roly. Start with them. Bro. Start with them. Yeah. Well, I looked at Lopez last fight, but you know how Lopez is. He'll fight a bad fight and then a yeah, great fight. Yeah, that motherfucker wild card. Fight. You don't know who. Great fight. Then a bad he's fight. A great, he's a great. He's a great athlete, too. And he got good power. It's like you never know what he's going to do. So... Mm -hmm. Great sparring, bro. Great he sparring. Wanted Matias. Great sparring. That's what you said. Lopez get great sparring. Lopez is like like Devin Haney, like well, well like Bill Haney. De Lopez will go anywhere for sparring, anywhere. And when you do, when you do it, when you have enough heart to do that, that uh, that brings your level of fighting up. When you go anywhere, you're not worried about you know what's going to happen. You fight all the type of people yeah. across the world. So you want to take some ass whoopings? Yeah. <laughs> like Lopez, we go anywhere to spar. I want to see Teal fight Pitbull. That, that'd be a good fight. Oh, he had light him on fire, man. It wouldn't even be close. I think he moved too well. I think he had... Teal would run from him. He would he would just do... I think, you know, I think he had run. I think he would just get out the way in. Well, let, let, him, let, him, let him sit there and get cracked because I promise you, he hits harder than Cambosis. And if Cambosis put his ass down, Pitbull will do it easier. So... Right. Still, I think it's, it's definitely a better fight than whoever Tio's about to fight. Man, next. I'm so glad Pitbull got a belt at 140. Motherfucker's about to be put to the test. Like yeah, he definitely gonna put you to the test. Whoever fight yeah. him, ain't gonna be no cakewalk. I don't care who fight that little dude. Exactly, cakewalk. That motherfucker don't give a damn. He like Joe Fraga. Like whoever fight him and don't have a jab, feel sorry for you. Any yeah. Cruz. Cruz in like November. You don't got no jab for him. I feel bad for you, son. Yep. Yep. Do you need a jab of him? Anybody who fight him next? Yep. The only person who can him. really beat Pitbull or get him or decisively is just Shakir. That's it. I don't no, think no, no. Devin Haney would give him problems. Yes, 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 he will, KJ. You I know he'll Haney, unbox. Haney would toy. Haney would make Pitbull look easy. I think. Yeah, yeah. he would make he would because make he's so much taller. Tank Davis. The thing about this, y'all realize, bro. Tank five five. Like it's a whole different world. Devin is is the average height of an American man for real. You know what I mean? Like he's a big one forty. He's a gigantic one forty. He's five five nine. Yeah, he was huge at lightweight. He's still huge at one forty. Like yeah. I think Tim will make people look quite easy. 
And it's, I mean, not Tank, I mean Devin. And it's not because he's that much better than Tank. It's because he working with a different deck. That man yeah. is, is way taller, way longer arms than both fighters. Than Great both yeah. And, yeah. and he has all of the, the, the same footwork as um, Tank. Not the same meaning they move it the exact way, but meaning they both have fast feet. So he, I think he'll make Pitbull look easy. Devin Haney. Haney is taller, so his steps will get him out of the way quicker than, than exactly. Haney. I mean, and Pitbull yeah. going to have to do more just to get inside. Because yeah. the same way Loma. Loma had to do so much work just to get within range of Devin. Because Devin's so much bigger than these dudes. That's his gift. That's what allows him, because he's not the most talented naturally mm -hmm. out there. But the fact that he's bigger than these guys, it would allow him to really be at that level along with the work ethic. So it, it's perfect because you got people like Shakur and Tank. They they got more natural ability, but Devin bigger than them. So that's what that's why we we got a little class. We got a little we're gonna win these fights. You can, see the you can see the difference in them when, when he went up. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, KJ, if 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 Devin knocks out. Ryan, will I go to show that Devin has or Ryan has no chin? Uh, I think Ryan got a chin. Uh, listen, Ryan got knocked out, knocked down by uh, Luke Campbell, got up and won. Yeah. Ryan got hit by a tank and got right back up, and then he got dropped again and made a decision to stay down. So one thing I know about Ryan, mentally he might not got it, but physically his body could take a lot of punishment. His body could take a lot. He got hit with this with a shot. Uh, mm. Flush to the face in the second round, yep. he didn't get knocked out. Like Roly, Roly's eyes rolled in the back of his head when Tank. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, I'm not. I'm not being funny. I watched it in slow motion. His eyes rolled in the back of his head. The announcer mentioned. The announcer said, "Whoa, his eyes rolled in the back of his head." That's what happened. <laughs> it, it just he got knocked out. Ryan, his physical, he that's and that's from years of boxing. Ryan been boxing for years. He's he a tough guy physically. Mentally, I don't know what's going on, Ryan. Yeah. But, uh, speaking, speaking of that fight, have y'all seen the ticket sales for that? They are not doing that good. I told what, you, Ryan, Kepa, it's... Kepa had to come up. Kepa was up here was like, you was right. You was right. They ain't shelling. They not shelling because Devin is not going to never be a pay-per-view yeah. star. He don't have... Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I said... That's they're not fighting him. in New York. They're fighting in right the West Coast fighters. Yeah, no, that is strange. If you really like that, it don't matter when you go. The people fight; they're going to fight. It don't matter where you also, fight. It's the, also, it's it don't the matter Barclays. you from Chicago. It don't matter you from Philly. Barclays. It don't if, matter. If fighting at the Garden, maybe do maybe a little bigger, but it's not that big. Listen, if you a star, they come into you. The star attracts. Yeah. Plus, Ryan's antics aren't exactly helping the sales. That's what I'm saying. Ryan, He's Ryan, Ryan's doing good. Ryan, Ryan right? the only one that people are really talking about. Haney not doing yeah. his part, in my opinion. Well, he's he's doing the standard stuff, but I think more than promoting the fight, I think Ryan's promoting himself. Yeah, exactly. That's what Ryan. That's what got Ryan the tank fight. Ryan right. is the one pushing the fight. All that Illuminati yeah. shit that he been talking. That's what got yeah. people watching him every day on Twitter. He's doing his part. What does Devin Haney yeah. do to make people say, "Oh, I can't miss this fight"? Nothing. 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 Do all the exactly. talking. That's There's right. You think Bill fighting got Garcia? <laughs> this Bill Haney versus Garcia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, that's, uh, that's another thing, man. No. Bill goes on, um, Bill goes on Cam and May show instead of Devin, and Devin is the one with a fight. I'm yeah, like, Bill, funny as hell. <laughs> and Bill does a great job, but I'm saying, bro, Devin, get up there and tell him how you about to. Cam and May's get watched by at least half a million people per video. Get your ass up there and tell him what you about to do to this man. You know what I mean? Why when you fighting in New York? That's a New York show, and you fighting in New York. It don't, yeah, it don't matter. Doing a lot of press. Also, Ryan has made it very clear he does not prefer to fight in New York. So maybe a lot of New Yorkers are leaning towards that. Man, mm, pay, could be. Pay per view, baby. It, it, yeah. People, pay per view no. me. Anybody that's no, and around that's anybody that's no one New Yorkers, they be like, oh, he don't want to fight here. I'm going to, to the fight to watch him get his ass beat. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's another thing. The pay per view. Do that, that too. Way too much money. Huh? Y'all say what's your prediction for the pay per view? I'm gonna say two hundred thousand. I don't think they're gonna he he gonna do a little bit better than he did again with the Loma fight. Really, Devin's supposed to bring in at least half a mil because you got Ryan Garcia, but they're not gonna do that. It's gonna be two hundred thousand. Well, it's not. I don't think the fight. It's not gonna be no brawl. Let's be honest. Devin ain't gonna fight like that. Pay per view not selling. 
Like y'all got you got to take risks. It's it's okay. You have if you want to make money, but or you do if you just want to be a dude that wins, don't take the risk. But you're not gonna be a pay per view star. Nah, ain't he want? Ain't he looking for a legacy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, part of your legacy is how you win. Like Sugar Ray Leonard, not anymore. People always talk about Sugar Ray because the way in which you would win them fights, all of those punches, all of that offense. Sugar Ray not necessarily when you just go a pure boxing. He was an athletic boxer. He wasn't a pure boxer, but the the casuals they remember him as being better than all of those pure boxers. Like Bernard Hopkins is a better boxer than Sugar Ray Leonard. You ask motherfuckers who watched Sugar Ray fight in the '80s, they're not going to say, "Oh yeah, B Hop, he was better than Sugar Ray." They're going to say, "No, Sugar Ray won the best I ever seen because of the way in which he was winning." The way he fought, yeah. He gave, he gave, he gave you the business. Exactly. I, I would never say nothing negative about Sugar Ray. He Sugar put on that show and he won. Fan. But he put, on, that, he put on a show. Bernard was tactical fighting. fighting on April 20th. Tactical. April a lot of people, they, casuals, okay. they don't speak that language. So, right. Devin, if you want to appear to casuals, you're going to you're gonna have to show more offense. That's it. Other right. than that, I mean, if not, just keep doing what you're doing. I and mean, you need, <laughs> And you need to do that. Well, kind of sell a pay-per-view with this kind of price, $70, really 80 when you count the DAZN subscription. They shouldn't have made it that price because Devin no. has proved to the fans that he's that guy. Offensively, it's just, it just it wasn't. And Ryan, people trying to give Ryan all this credit because what him and Tank did, but it took two. So now we know that it was both of them. Just like most pay per views, it takes two. You need a dance partner. Yeah. That yeah. is the dance partner. Ryan already kind of, kind of proved himself that he could be a good, you know, a good villain or a good uh, two man. And he's unproven as far as pay per view, so they shouldn't have made it eighty dollars. Um, and Devin, he needed really, he needed to get a stoppage if he wants to be that pay per view guy. And it has to be miraculous. It has to be, I went out here and I, I, I really knocked this man out. And this or, or undercard is not impressive. TKO stoppage and, and Ryan's face looks different. You know that man? I changed the color of his face. He went to the the ring looking white. He came out looking purple. That type of thing. Yeah, you gotta do some damage. Another yeah, thing. He go, this... Or he's not gonna be a pay per view star. That's it. Also, this undercard isn't really pay-per-view worthy. And it's not a lot of fight that gets people up on their feet. That's that's what you got to do with, with, with um, Devin. You got to put it. The undercard got to yep. be crazy. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I know what they, they have. Look, Devin, that's how, I don't understand this. Devin, they should just sign with PBC, even if it's a couple fight deal. Like, the PBC work. has the fighters, and they're doing a better job marketing this. They're undercard, they're Amazon Prime. That shit was great, all the way up to the final fight where they, you know, it was, it was a bloodbath with uh, Fun Door and Tim Zoo. Yeah. So it's like, so just, just, just sign with PBC, man. Shit, you already got the money. I mean, y'all are already. You have M's in the bank. Go to PBC, um, and they're gonna market. They're gonna do a better job getting you the pay per view numbers. Cause just on your own is not is not happening. Ali could sell anywhere, but Ali could talk all type of shit. Devin don't talk that good shit. Somebody wow. asked a question. Yeah. He said, what's the difference between a pure and an athletic boxer? Pure boxers understand all the different nuances of the sport. They're not just jumping in and out. Like, athletic boxers, hey, yo, Levi, you got to mute your mic, bro. Yeah, you can't be up here eating chips and shit. <laughs> but anyway, pure boxers, they understand all the different nuances of the sport. Jabbing, you know what I mean, clinching. Distance management, everything. So yeah. they could win off of skills. For an example, Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker was a pure boxer, but he happened to be a great athlete. That's most of the time. That's when you end up with a Hall of Fame fighter when somebody got both. But um, athletic boxers like a Roy Jones, he only understands the sport around what his the, how his body can move. So mm -hmm. when he loses a step or two, he no longer could yeah. turn to a fundamental base. Nope. And, you know he's gonna start getting knocked out. He's gonna start losing. Oh, Pure okay. boxers can win. They, they, they. A lot of them. A lot of times mm -hmm. they born to look at, but they know how to win because they understand the basic fundamentals of boxing. Yep. Athletic boxers, they're they're more exciting for the crowd, but they only understand the sport as far as their body goes. That's the yeah. best way I can put it. And that's exactly how Bernard Hopkins described him. The mm -hmm. difference between him and Roy Jones. Yeah. He said Roy is athletic. I could never do what Roy Jones do. Yep. But I know the sport. I know how to buy it. I know how to do things that he couldn't do. But there's that. How do you last till you're 51 years old and this guy was getting knocked out in his 30s? 
Don Judah, are you in a tunnel? Go ahead. Go ahead, Wicked. My bad. I cut you off. Where Wicked? No. I'm, in my I'm just asking Don if he's in a tunnel. I hear him. No, no. I just moved in my house and uh, it's empty. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm in another room. <laughs> yeah. But that that, that, exp that that explanation you just gave was right on point. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody said Kerm would have named Javonta. Nope. Javonta would have got that man out of there. Floyd would have got that man out of there. Kermel, like Don was saying this the other day about Sugar Ray Leonard, he said Sugar Ray actually wasn't a power puncher, but the accumulation of punches would have got the people out of there. That's how it's going to be for Kermel Moten. Yeah, go look at the Will Ferdinand Benitez fight with Sugar Ray. One of the best fights you ever could see. You'll see Will Wilfredo Benitez was the better boxer. You know what's so crazy? A lot of the best fights you ever going to see involve Sugar Ray Leonard. So yeah, yeah, actually, that's true because Leonard was entertaining. Exactly. And he never gave a, a up. A lot of the best fights you're ever going to see is going to be Sugar Ray. Uh, 30 punch yeah. combo. Because when you look at the beginning of that fight, you'd think, um, you'd think Sugar Ray was overrated. You'd be like, oh shit, Sugar Ray not that good. But Nidas was slipping him. He was throwing them. You know how you throw them combinations, them hook, right, left hooks. Yeah. And he was making a miss. And everybody was like, wow, this dude going to beat Sugar Ray. Yeah, nah. -uh. <laughs> that 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 the comeback king. He mm -hmm. did it for details. Team round pace TKO. That kid was nice. He was nice. I, I I give it to that Baltimore. I mean Maryland kid. He was nice. Uh, I, I, nothing from Sugar Ray Leonard. 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 Uh, uh, Benitez. Leonard Hearns. Leonard Duran. These are some of the most action-packed fights you ever gonna mm -hmm. see. And the name that keep popping up is Sugar Ray Leonard. But that, I mean, that's crazy. That's that's why crazy. Do they that one of the most Benitez exciting out. fighters of all time. Why do they always leave Benitez out? But uh, Wilfredo, because I don't he know. wasn't part of the four king marketing. But he beat one of them. He beat one of them. He yeah. wasn't part of the four kings marketing. He beat one of them. His marketing, Don. But Benitez was what, seventeen, a damn champion. Yeah, he was the champion at seventeen. Yeah, Wonder King, champion. Ever. You're not supposed to be that good. And yeah, man was a beast. And, and he um he would have been better. They said that he was a partier. They said that he wasn't focused. Yeah, yeah. He never trained. He barely trained. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You know who would have been like Wilf Wilfred Benitez? Um, had it not been for the weight road that he took, Shakur Stevenson was a guy that wasn't training, but he ran into Terrence Crawford, and he mm -hmm. said, um, Bud actually told him like, look, this how you, this is the way you take this sport serious, and Bud sparred with him, beat him up, and um kind of motivated him like, I gotta be in shape. I gotta be working on my craft. But yeah. some dudes, they just got that that radar, man. They just got the, the reflexes. They could box at a high level because they yeah. athletic as hell. Yeah. They, tell, they got it. They got it. Yeah, and that was Benitez. He was just yep. a natural, like uh, from from what Pierce say, he was just a natural dude. When he walked in that gym as a kid, Born it was like, they fighting over him. I got him. No, I got him. <laughs> I'm training them. And then you know that that's how that's how trainers are. They fight over fighters when they first walk in the gym and show any kind of Natural talent. Yep. Yeah. They fight you know, over all the trainers. They all trying to get to that big moment. They all trying to get to that. Uh, that yeah, trainers, when you're a trainer, you actually you still you still thinking like a fighter. When your fight is in there, you thinking it's you. <laughs> it's not. It's your fighter, man. I, I, I used to. I, I never trained any pros, but in the ambushes, I felt that way when I was. I, 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 it was an extension of me. When he, when I send my fight out there, it's an extension of me. And that's why sometimes great fighters don't become good trainers because they want their fighters to fight exactly like them and do exactly like them and excel like them and it don't work like that. Yeah, don't. And they, yeah. And they lose it. So, Your boy, um, what's, what's my man that used to be up in Crump? Um, Stewart. Yeah, Emmanuel Stewart. Um, he was a, a beast at uh, letting people do them. Like, he got Nassim and was like, look, <laughs> Nassim is Nassim. I'm not about to try to. Um, teach him all these fundamentals. I'm gonna let him go ahead and do him. Tell him a little something here and there. Cause at the end of the day, when you at that level and you working with these different egos and different abilities, it it actually hurt a fighter. Like you tried to make Prince Nassim be a fundamental boxer. Remember now he's starting to get his ass whooped. Cause that just wasn't him. Yeah. But he, he I call Emmanuel Stewart. He taught everybody how to throw that right hand. He was the right hand king. He teach a he took he Tommy Herms. Uh, we, we, we was just talking about his, um, what's his name, the defensive fighter. I got a bad memory, you gentlemen. Uh, what's his name? We were just talking. We were just talking about the other day with the defense. Daniel Augustus. No. Um. Oh damn. The one that lost to Roy Jones. What's his name again? 
from from Detroit. Oh, Tony. Tony, Tony. He taught Tony that right hand. McKellen, McClellan. Uh, who? Um, 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 big I don't man. Know I said Pernell. Pernell worked with George. Ben. No, no. no uh, the, the, the big man from British, from England. Lennox Lewis. When he got all of them dudes, them dudes, he taught them that right hand because Tommy Hearns didn't have that right hand. Manuel Stewart put that into him. Taught him how to throw that right hand correctly. Hold on, hold up. Who, who the hell? Who the hell um, was it? Manuel Stewart. He helped G Man, didn't he? G Man, yeah, all of them. That's why all yeah, of them. G Man right probably wouldn't have had a career without without yeah. going to prom. Yeah, because he, he was moved into a, a, a killer. Yeah, that right hand, man. Manuel Stewart was the right hand. I call him the right hand man. That's what I used to call him. God rest in peace. He taught everybody that right hand, and everybody he trained. They got knockouts with that right hand. Tommy was just his number but one. Didn't, didn't he, he train Dishko? Who? Hey, 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 Jaffe. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Jaffe, you've been Mike going crazy. Mm -hmm. Jaffe, you've been going crazy in the comment section, man. So oh. you off here? I'm about to end the live in a couple minutes, man. I want you to go ahead and get your piece off, man. Oh, nothing, man. I, I'm just happy to see that everybody giving Shakur the respect that he deserved. I'm just strictly on here for Haney control because. You know, once they start saying he's Haney better than him, I got to step in. But it ain't been like that lately. Now I appreciate that, man. My man, you know, man. Not you, over. you come on here. Over. No, they got to. <laughs> you come on here with a coming to America picture and say you were. Wait, that that's a really cool picture though. I got the King Joffrey or you have right there. Oh, thank you. Coming to America, that, man. That's my alter ego. I like for my bitches to treat me like royalty. You know, treat me like a king. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. You know. No! <laughs> you know, oh, when I walk up, they said Haney controlled the fuck. Haney control, man, because, yeah, <laughs> you know, great fighter, all that good stuff. You know, he a C-class fighter. You know, just call me. Oh, yeah. Haney, yeah. Haney yeah. still spun. Nah, bro, Haney, Haney C at best. I give B minus. I just hope T.O. don't take B minus is is B minus is is harsh for Haney. Haney is an A-class fighter, man. You don't become hey. undisputed. The uh, youngest hey. undisputed champion ever. Andy Ruiz. And you're not A-class. Well, we can't. Well, well, we're free to Benitez because was the youngest champ ever. And we ain't put him in that four. <laughs> they, I mean, but it was, only, it was only four. It was four kings. <laughs> Andy Ruiz. It was people. Like you said, and Aaron Pryor was around. Like, it was dudes. That's true. Yeah, that's true. It, just, it was just marketing. Like, yeah. Our boy box knowledge good boy. You got some good knowledge up there, kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, I don't Don do the the truth when it comes to that boxing knowledge, man. I'm young. Don nah, up here, young dude, bro. Both, oh, all of them. I, 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 I got history. I got history. And I got some history. The way I believe, in order for you to understand where you at, you gotta understand the past. You gotta understand how things. You got you. You got you. That's why I like when when Don Judah and anybody else, older people, they come up here. Wicked, he, he old, even though he sound young. They got this dude who be coming on TikTok. I like when they come up here and tell the things that they saw because it helped me as a um as a boxer analyst and as a fighter. Like, oh damn, let me go look at this fighter. Look at that fighter. The go watch they, that Julian Jackson Harold Graham fight, please. Just Google it. I'm gonna watch it tonight or tomorrow Who? night. Who is it? Harold I'm putting in uh Don Julian Jackson. Harold Graham, I want you to see how a man gets his ass. I forgot what round he knocked him out at, but it gets his ass beat every round and stayed focused enough to say, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him while he getting his ass tore up and one punch ended the whole put not only did it end the fight, it ended Harold Graham's career, almost mm. ended his life. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Look at this Jeez. fight that you it's never over until it's it over. the meanest overhand right ever. Bro, that was <laughs> that was the sickest knockout I've ever seen from a person losing a whole fight. Mm. He did not win one round. He didn't even win a second in the fight. He didn't even win 30 seconds of each round. And Is Harold Gray versus who? Julian Harold Jackson. Graham. Harold Harold, not Harold. Harold. H E R R O L. He was a British Harold. dude. Harold. Harold Graham versus Julian Jackson. Watch that fight. That fight was crazy, bro. One of the best knockouts I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. And come back. We gonna go ahead and end off that knockout. <laughs> good night, man. Y'all have a Yo, good night, man. Go watch it. Harold Graham, Julian Harold. Jackson. 
Uh, I'm about to get up out of here. Jaffe, Don, Judah, Levi, Juan Vandal, Wickedy, NBA 2K. Thanks for coming up, Love man. For sure. For sure, KJ. See y'all tomorrow.